Hey guys, James here from TCG University. Come back at you with another deck profile. Today we're going to be going over my Stain deck profile for the My Hero format for the Campus Championship Heroes vs. Villains tournament that we had. Uh, so I'll get right into it because there's a lot of there's a lot of text to go over. Stain is a six hand slash twenty nine vitality character with an enhance that your weapon attack gets plus a speed, and then if it deals damage, you burn your opponent for one. His other ability is commit after your rival makes a check to play a card that check gets minus three only playable if you have dealt damage to your opponent so if you've hit your opponent with an attack you can commit him to nega check which is very very strong all right first attack we're going to go over is dropkick slicer it's a four high for five with a one check uh the one check will come important because we'll, we play a lot of spam to try and circumvent that I, it gets uh, minus one difficulty if you have 10 or less vitality. And then in hand, you reveal the top three cards of your deck. You get to add all of your the attacks revealed that way to your hand. And then for every non-attack, you burn your opponent. This either will burn your opponent and shrink their life size down, or you get to add more attacks in for later. I usually use this as more of a poke card or a uh, long string attack kill card. This one's our setup for the turn or just a poke. Uh, now we have... Uh, knife slice it's a five low for five uh enhance if this uh, attack does if this uh if you're right if, mm, the next attack uh, the next time your rival loses health this combat phase they lose one and you gain one uh not only does uh stain have 29 health which is a whole lot uh gaining life with him would be extremely important you know, we actually play four of all the cards that gain life under evil right now so uh, then deadlock enhance your rival loses two vitality which is just super strong with stain this makes it a six six low lows are a very uh, odd zone and then uh being a high speed makes it very very strong as well and then the last weapon attack in our deck is three slashing whirlwind uh five five minute for four discard two momentum gets plus 10 damage this is our uh end kill card it becomes 14 damage stain basically gives it uh its own make three on thing always goes through super strong card now, the reason we are playing these, we're playing seven throws because Stain's ability activates as long as you have dealt damage. The throws will always, almost always deal damage. So we're playing four invincible class, but it's a three high for three throw that we can burn to to give three damage if we need to push a little harder. And it has the ability to spend extra momentum to negate non-character enhances as well, which is super, super strong in long turns. But just having the ability to auto just turn two, play this, hit your opponent for like, one, two to three and then always have a live stain makes your makes you very dangerous the entire game and then to combo with it just in, so we have more throw we are playing three face bomb uh takedown it's a two high for six that can combo with our invincible class and then uh it, as a combo enhance if we have dealt damage for the turn it gets plus two damage and stun one which could be helpful but we're mainly playing it just as an extra throw to make sure we push that damage now on to actions. We are playing two Blood Curl. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this card. I play, uh, when I play Stain, uh, my side deck currently has two in the main, two in the side. Uh, this card just, I'm playing it mainly for the ability of uh, enhance, uh, commit one foundation, commit your opponent's character. On defense, is super, super strong. Shutting down characters like uh, Todoroki that can pick up momentum. Shutting down characters like Endeavor that can add, like um, Nomu that can reduce, reduce damage. Uh, Mineta that reduces speed, draws a card. Shut, shutting down those characters are very defensively good. It's just a very strong thing to do. And I actually think we'll see a lot more of this card the more the game evolves. And then we're also playing three, four evil gaze. Pay to two to push our damage through, which is very good with stain. And pay two to block something and blow up a ready foundation on our opponents is also very strong. Also has a nice one mid block with breaker one. Okay, so we are playing three or four excited for blood excited for blood is a three five two high block that says flip after your rival loses health you gain four which is super super strong as a 29 health character and then enhance once per turn lose two health after your attack does damage draw a card super super fun and strong with our throws as well extending our life total as a 29 health character is very very good for us same reason why we're playing super region uh it's a two five Four, four high block that you're never going to block with. Flip after you take three more damage due to uh, damage or by effects. By an attack or by an effect. 
game three vitality super super strong card nice staple right now all right and then to push speed because that's what stain needs we're playing four nervous habit uh pay one vitality get plus one speed super simple and we're playing four classmate introductions uh your first attack gets plus one speed if it, it hasn't been blocked um, sorry if your attack has if your opponent has not played in a block for the turn plus the speed and then if this is your first attack plus the damage the damage is very good for our throws and the speed is very good for our weapon attacks now we're playing two brew strength uh, to get rid of face downs because we flip a lot of cards brew strength will give us more damage as well as keeping us out of deadlock which is super good also has a nice two high block uh, I don't have four of this card I actually want four card for this card in my deck Dissolving the conflict is a three high block two, a difficulty five control. Uh, we're playing it for the response remove. After you, your your rival plays an attack, add it to their hand. Only playable if you have ten or less vitality. The way this works is if your opponent plays their third, fourth, or fifth attack during the turn, and they have to start committing a bunch of cards to be able to play it. Being able to add it back to their hand and force them to remake it, make that check is very very good. And on top of that, being able to on the rechecks force Stain to make them redo it again is super super strong that's why i need four i have two more on the way but didn't have it when we played the tournament uh we have three challenging the fakes more damage reduction to help our 29 vitalities uh enhanced flip uh this attack gets minus one damage if it uh is not blocked your opponent's next check to play an attack gets minus two difficult uh minus two to the check uh failing it does not end their combat phase just super strong card to just make sure our opponent checks bad or has to at least commit out uh, too apathetic to turn off things like wall clings and stuff like i said uh mainly our deck is played to try and get those throws to push through and things like wall cling kind of shut us down uh, now we're on to more defensive speed hate we're playing four shock absorption uh destroy uh this attack gets minus two speed play wall committed easy easy spam has a nice two mid block same thing with intimidation intimidating presence uh plus two mid block uh, while it's in the card pull our opponent sacks get minus one speed it's mainly the reason we're playing it we're playing three stronger in darkness. This was something I wanted to test. I wanted to cut more spam because of the one check. Uh, but this card also says uh, if our character's committed, we can give free plus one damage for not even doing anything. Sometimes we'll, we could end up using our character early. So this just gives us a spam with a nice high block that can pump damage if we needed to. Uh, four keen observation, two high block. Says that we burn an extra damage. Uh, we burn one plus one if for every reason we burn our opponent. Our drop heel clicks, our drop kick slicers do it. He does it. Our knife slices do it. It's a very, very good card. Nice spam. Four desperate measures. Uh, enhance or response flip after our opponent adds any number of cards to their hand. We force them to commit a foundation. Super easy card. Nice three high block. A lot of high blocks in this deck. And then four surviving the final. Free once per turn. Negative one speed with a nice three high block on the spam. Just protect us from that one check. So this was my stain deck, guys. Uh, I know I kind of went through this a little fast. The main point of the deck is to kind of hit our opponent with throws, try to hit them once or twice, set up defensively, and then get a nice, cool, long, like four or five, like, kill, five attack kill turn where our opponent's just not able to block because Stain's going to commit himself to make sure they can't pass that check. Uh, it's very, very, uh, it's very, very consistent, but it just had trouble facing against Endeavor who would just pick up attacks and then slaughter me on the backswing when I couldn't play defense well enough. Uh, so let me know what you guys think down below. Make sure to check out the other deck profiles and the other matches in the campus championship uh make sure to let us know what you guys would like to see in the future for the campus championship uh, make sure to check out the patreon at patreon.com tcg university if you wish to support us and as always stay learned